get with me and Sam. I mean, and 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 was was like, you got your place. Yeah, yeah. 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 We don't have to stand still. You can wave to her. We don't have to stand still. It's on. So I picked with a birthday. Well, that was that light. Father, you first night. Oh, I thought you need better now. No, first night. You can't now. Amy. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to turn up. I forgot how much film he is. Okay, hold on. 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 Okay,
and we said it would be the next street after the billboard, and I said, yeah, that's right. But I'd already thought, I said, oh, something's up, something's straight up. Cars are gone. And so we got down, and Chris said, Daddy, it ain't there. I said, I see it, son, it ain't there. And about that time, it was an old black lady. It was his there. van. And, yeah, and she said, Lord of mercy, said, if they done stole your car, too? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I said, why, do you have one? She said, yeah. They either done towed it off or somebody's done stole it. And then there was another guy, because we walked up that way, and then we was trying to find somewhere to go. And he said, uh, said I seen, so they towed them off about 30 minutes after y'all left. And they was making Or they pulled money. it off. And, and I said, Chris, you reckon it's stole? It could have been stolen. So we finally got it back up to the stadium, and uh, there was a bunch of police officers. But he did have that it would be towed away. And the police, no police said, well, so the best thing to do is just go call 911. I said, where's that? He said, well, you'll find your phone booth up there. And that's, you know, sorry, Atlanta police. They won't, you know, they didn't even offer to, they care, you know, like that. So what? You know, you need, you got to report it as being stolen. So Chris gets on the phone, call, and he has to tell them all the, and, and um, they asked me to have his registration. He said, no, because it is in the van. You know, he didn't yeah. have no proof of it. And um, so I said, well, Chris, that's what we do? But he stayed on the phone about 45 minutes with him. <laughs> and they, they said, that, no, if it had been towed in, that they would have called the police department and say they were towing it in because it had to be had a violation. To and I said, well, Chris, I said, there's somebody, I said, it could have been a ring uh, Do come down that. knowing that the World Series mm -hmm. was going to be there. And I said, they, because there was another van from Michigan parked right behind us. And y'all paid them $5, $5 to steal you. <laughs> yeah, and that, that black guy, see, he got his, he made about $56 and he took off to the wine old store mm -hmm. or to the wine yeah. or liquor and laughed about it and we all didn't have nothing else to <laughs> I said, what in the world are we going to do? And, uh, so finally we said, well, we got to do something. So we walked across the street over to the Ramada Inn, and um, there was a police lady out there, and we asked her. She said, normally they wouldn't be towing away cars, that even if it said tow away, said, at an event like this, said they're not that strict, mm -hmm. and said, uh, said probably somebody's just stole it. So, and but the there wasn't nowhere you could stay. There's nowhere we could stay because that... <laughs> All, everything was booked up, and I just have to think. I said, "Well, Jody does live here, but I said lately he's been staying out of town because he said it had been so much meanness going on yeah. and breaking in and everything that he was trying to. He didn't sit like staying." And I said, "Well, we could call him, but I didn't have his phone number because he had just moved." <laughs> and so I called. I said, "Well, I'll call." I said, "I need to call Lou Ann anyway because this was done like two o'clock, two thirty, and I said because she's going to be expecting us in a little bit." And, yeah. uh, I said, we'll call, and, and maybe she can give me the phone number. It happened that Shannon, Jody had wrote Shannon and give her the, the new phone number. So I called Jody, and he said, yeah, Daddy. said, really? He said, I can look out in the back door and see the stadium. So just get a taxi, and y'all come on over, and we'll do something. Chris said, well, what are we going to do? I said, he said, well, I asked you to have insurance. He said, yeah. I said, well, maybe if you got rental. He said he had car rental, and I said, well, we'll just have to get them to rent us a car to go back home and so it's stolen. Know. You know, what else can you do if it's stolen? <laughs> and I sure don't I said, I sure want to stay around here in this because oh, one, really. one old black guy done already trying to sell us some tapes and stuff. I said, I don't buy nothing from nobody. <laughs> yes. and, it, and somebody said, somebody asked me, said, said, that probably was the same black guy that you give five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, because they all look alike. Don't so we finally got over to Jody's apartment. It was about 3.30 and so Jody fixed this plate for everybody to sleep. And uh, so I went off, but I was tired, so I went off sleep about 7 o'clock. I heard him and Chris, and Joe said, Chris, I know the people that they usually, they usually tow the car. I said, well, would you call out there? And so Chris called out there, and they said, yeah, we've got a van with North Carolina tag. And uh, so they were called back to the police department, and they said that they uh, didn't have no record of it. But uh, they said that we'd have to call the police department to get something from them to prove it. And uh, Chris said, well, I ain't got nothing to prove it's mine because it's in the van itself. And it happened to Jody, one of Jody's friends. He was going to Spartanburg, but he had some time. And so Jody asked him, would he come over and get us and take us? Because, and we get in there, we go all the way across on the other side of town to, to a place. And we told him who we were, and they let him get into the van and get his registration. Well, he then had, had to go together. all the way back across town to the police department and get a, a card, and and 
we just showed him the registration. He'd fill out the car and give it. Then we had to go all the way back over again to get the van. Oh, is this a private towing people? Yeah. Well, see, that's what they do. They and then that, after they, they tow they it, then they make the they police make give you one. Well, yeah. so see, they get well, paid we asked, for it. So they asked them why did they put it up. They said it had expired tags. Well, is this a private That was no reason to tow away a car but with an expired tag. And Chris said, my tires, uh, tag can't be expired. But it was. <laughs> see, what, what it happened, but listen, what happened though, see, when Chris, when Chris, had, when Chris had the wreck in Michigan, well, see, that, that was in January, well, they gave him, a, they total lost the van and they gave him a new one. Well, they just took the tags over and transferred it. Well, see, he thought that that was new tags and it'd be good to January. But see, he bought the van in July. Oh, and you know what? He's been riding. He's been driving tags. We're this not paying taxes. Right? He's been driving since July Every with expired tags. Really? Oh, oh, but they then on top July. of that, what well, was did y'all get it before they? Well, but they didn't. Oh. Do it. But before <laughs> that, though, on the way down to the house that day, that next day, Chris got stopped for speeding, and the patrolman didn't even notice. Didn't put down that they were expired. Oh, and oh, so because so it was a North Carolina oh. tag. Well, it, it stopped well, right here at Clinton. It. it was down here at Clinton because oh. he come through Whitmire and got mm -hmm. on the interstate and then come to Clinton and then went the way we always go on down to North Augusta. But it looks like the, the patrol they went on. And so that goes show you that they, that they wasn't really, they just used uh -huh. as an excuse. Yeah. And see, the police didn't even have it towed anyway. Well, so, they don't so this guy that took that Joe, tow or got, see, the guy they that took tow, us that's over they there, make their money. the guy that took us over there, though, said, said he wanted Chris to write back to Atlanta and, and, and dress it to the mayor. Yeah. Because said that's what's happening. These tow companies go around and take advantage. Of the because said it had been different if it had a tow-away zone. Then well, why excuse did he have a tow? They might have got. They might have got, they they got that black guy to they, do that. They so they they had a state. That, that black guy was working with the. Yeah. Uh, but they just they tow them off like that, and then there's nothing you can do. You've got to you've pay got the fine. It cost. You had to pay thirty, sixty dollars to get it out of the out of the tow. And see the police, if it had been a. The police would have charged us some kind of a ticket yeah. and, and had it on the car company. if it had been a yeah. if it was a violation. Yeah. And it, but it just happened that their tag was expired, so I used that as excuse to tow it away. <laughs> I wonder uh, what the excuse was for towing the others away. I don't know, but they was all gone because they yes, because the guy state, said that one other guy that come down there and that South black one Carolina, North said it. They come and they started throwing them away about thirty minutes after we left. Get what you can from everybody. And you can keep that. Yeah, go we'll make it we'll come, other. We'll come later and get. <laughs> well, that guy that took us over there, Jody's friend, said that they had been they've been having problems and they've been trying to fight this stuff about who towing away because that stuff like that has been going on. He said if Chris that's would write, thing is stealing. Yeah, it is. If, if Chris would write, so that might would help spur up some of this stuff. Let them so, start investigating. So okay. Curtis won't never forget his. And I told Chris, I said, so Chris said, well, I've had my. Said I've had my fill of baseball. I said, well, son, at least you didn't have to pay the thirty dollars for the ticket. Because I gave you the ticket. So. <laughs> but you know what, though? That's what usually out. happens when you get we a free pass. You always got thirty dollars for the three tickets. Thirty dollars a piece. And they were selling, they were selling tickets up there for over a thousand dollars a piece to go to them games. To get in. Oh, I didn't turn that on. I got to. Sure and, and I enjoyed, I tell you what, the, Chris had the most fun because we were doing the talking. At least y'all had, had, had a good time for that happened. What were you thinking all, all that time? Because there was an hour I didn't know, you know, the motels were booked and we didn't know if Jody was home so I could see, you know, all of them just laid back on a street bench with a newspaper over them in a cardboard box. And what, uh, another thing though, Jody left that day, the next day he left about noontime, going to New York, going to be gone for about, to allow until Christmas or something. And it, we just missed it by one day, we would have been, we would have been a homeless on the streets in a lot with a laid out. Oh, who's 57? Me! Oh, me! Ain't I young? I've got it. You gonna, where are you gonna see it? To, do you? Yeah, okay, pull yours over there. Yours. Wait, go Me! Oh, wait, me. Ain't I young? I've got it. You gonna, where are you going to see it? To, do you? Okay, pull yours over there. Yours. Wait, go up. We'll put, put, let Grace, I want to put over here a match. You want Coconut, you know, I'm oh, not a person, you know, I'm 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 not a person, you know
And she made it look pretty. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to make everybody want to eat food. And the worst, uh -oh. worst, 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 Yeah, I, I 
reading my card. Yeah. Okay. And I'll go back and read them again. I follow after you yeah. everybody's gone. Then I can read them. Uh, you know, Sit there and relax. So, yes, so cry if I want to. Let's so cry if I want to. I cry if I want to. It's my fault. So don't tell yeah, me yeah, what to oh. do. That's it. It's different from it. Oh, she can hear it. That was different. Oh, she can hear it. That's what this is. That's all right. 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 Oh, 
Yeah, Ben was with you. Ben was going to suck on that bag. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, she's got it. All right, Bill. All right, Bill. All right, Bill. I'm going to sit up and let him get you. Call it. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Okay. Thank you, Bammer, and everybody. Thank you, everybody. Oh, look here. Oh, I forgot this. I want to put this in my pocket. Get one of these out here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Is that crazy? Grace, you'll enjoy it. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
the car for the rest of the day. Oh, Lord, I don't know. <laughs> don't you look like <laughs> that red blend in there. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I can't blow out candles. Happy birthday to you. Where's Annie? Happy birthday to you. I guess we'll have to sing it again now. No, honey. <laughs> she 
Yeah, it's a you know, you like watermelon. Give her a chance. <laughs> she'll, be, she'll be trying. This is from Lamer. Amy! No, I got more great stuff. Ooh, money, money, money. That is so cute. Money, money, money. Money.